What is up? I've posted some YouTube shorts of some more solar panels and batteries, but I've been a bit late to edit and post some full-length videos. So I'll just summarize here what I've been testing over the past few weeks. So I've been wanting to beef up my off-grid system. I have my other solar inverter charger that I wanted to utilize, so I bought some more panels and bought some more batteries here. And I went out and bought a, another stack of solar panels. This time, I got a big fat stack that was actually pretty good price because they have snail trail defects and some other things. However, they didn't pan out very well, and I was only getting about 60 watts per panel. I did test these out by hooking them up to my solar inverter charger and setting them to prime angle for the sun and did this over the course of several days. I also found that this radiator fan was pretty good for quick hookups and just doing overall tests from panel to panel. So I'm going to throw in a couple of video clips that I took over the last week or two and then it will kind of get to the gist of what the final results were. I know that some of these are definitely more worn looking than the others and that was why I got such a good deal but they said they were supposed to put out you know like three quarter of the rating or something like that and I noticed some of them look a little better than the others and some just look horrible I'm like I don't know so anyway I was just I was going to put a couple of them up on my little patio over here just to have them in direct sunlight for next time I get a chance to sit test with it overhead and I was looking at this panel here how cruddy it looked I was like wait a minute I'm like it looks like that's on the outside of the glass, maybe. So I don't know. I just went and got a scrub brush from the kitchen sink and rubbed it over it. And it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it looks a lot better. I mean, that is dull. <laughs> I mean, it's just like got, it looks like road grease over here. Look at that. Got a reflection, actually. I stand over here. <laughs> no reflection. Yeah. Very wet sanding. Off of that glass. Look at that. That shit looks like fucking motor oil coming out of there. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Just got home, backing in the trailer. So we turned those 25 panels. It didn't turn out to be so great at all. We got two more of the ones I've been running on my pergola over there. And then I got nine of these slightly larger panels. Seem like they're pretty nice. Uh, to get my other system back up and running. So I'll have two systems. Okay, so uh, here's one of those panels that's like the one up on the Pergola, 250 watt. Pretty decent condition, used 50 bucks. So here's my fan. I found this fan to be a very good test. Put a decent load, it takes a little, you know, around 100 watts or so to run the fan at full speed. So let me connect this up. See that the fan just kind of dances all around because it got so much torque. <laughs> just, yeah, she runs. Okay, I got these five of my panels laying right here. One quick test I like to do for a load test is put this fan on here, see if it's really producing. And uh, this time of day, about well, one o'clock, I mean, these things put out a lot of power. Check this out. <laughs> so much torque, <laughs> fan just spins in circles. Pretty awesome. That fan's over speeding. That's faster than it goes. Panel's definitely putting out. Awesome panels. Took them up to the solar inverter charger. So they do. Okay, got those five. Pretty decent sun up there. Just turn it on. Takes a while for this thing to kind of figure out where it is and start creeping up. There's 400 watts. I know it's going to be way more than that. There's 500. Oh, it's throttling up. 600 watts. 700 watts fan should start up. 800 watts. Already doing better than two rows. <laughs> 14 panels I had that I took back. Couldn't even do over 800. There's 1200 watts. Can we do 13? Uh, settling out about 1.25 kilowatts. It's 1200 watts out of five panels. I could not get over 800 watts out of 14 panels of those snail trail ones about the discount they did only come out to about twenty dollars a panel these were 75 bucks a panel something like that okay got that fixed get myself out of the shadow so one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of those ones. I got two of these, which matched over there. They're going over there. So I just had 360 volts a few seconds ago with it loaded. Seems like it's, it's probably figuring out its best loading. 4.3 or 43. 44 amps. Oh, it's into the battery. Putting 44 amps into my battery. 2.3 kilowatts. That added another kilowatt. Putting the next four? What do I have in there? I had no, I had five. Oh, yeah, four more, making nine. So I got another kilowatt. So I've got 2.3 kilowatts going in there right now, which is 43 amps at the 48 volt level. It's a lot. It's putting in 48 amps. If I don't tighten this, it might get hot. So, so my temporary wiring, <laughs> 280 volts on the solar side. So I could have probably put a couple more in series, but unloaded um, without it putting in there would be 45, 45 times, it was, yeah, 45 point something volts each one of these is when you're open circuit or when you're not using anything, like when it wasn't charging batteries or running the inverter. This only could take up to 450 volts, so I was at the risk of putting a tenth one it would probably cause some nuisance alarm so it's kind of the max is nine of those in series for this and then closed circuit i think it's about 40 volts so it'd be in the 300s and maybe even a little less when it's fully loading like you see there's like almost 290 volts so it's kind of the way these chargers work is they they figure out the most wattage they could get draw as much as they can so yeah 2.3 kilowatts so i did return the other panels i was only getting 60 watts at best out of the 25 panels three were totally dead so that's like 22 times 60 so it was a, it wasn't gonna be a whole lot so that was 500 bucks and i was gonna get a whole 1300 watts ish 1200 watts from those panels that did work at 60 per so i was gonna have to put up 22 of those to get 1200 watts so i took those back gave them another 200 bucks got these nine and these nine are putting like 2.2 to 2.3 kilowatts right now with just them set up just right here it's actually getting some usable power and i only have to put up nine panels which i could fit these nine on my side yard which will get uh sun when you pick with the tree might block a block it before like nine o'clock but after that i should get sun over there i could just put them up here on the patio this is my west side of my house, so it would get all this great sun right now up here. They'd probably all fit up here, but <laughs> eclipsed from the sun before, you know, 11.30 noon, you know, so you miss all that. So I think I'm going to try to put them on the side where nobody can see it and the HOA can't see it. These two here, uh, you know, add another 500 watts peak, you know, right, 400 watts real world, maybe put those two right here fill this in to this existing system so I'm gonna have a second system and I'm thinking of just getting very light metal and just kind of putting them just over this over here where nobody can see this is like uh, a wash over here and then a park so I come in here in my laboratory area slash mechanical room <laughs> and uh, this system here all my uh, 20 kilowatt hours of batteries up there they were already topped off 56 volts it's like uh oh it's two o'clock i didn't realize it was that late so it's two o'clock so i guess the sun's further than i thought i'm like well, i've been using the power from that grid <laughs> over there so i just kicked on my ac systems pulling two kilowatts out it's still running eh, it's bouncing back and forth but it's pretty much running off the solar my solar was just hitting two kilowatts a second ago 2100 well, I'm pulling 2.2 to run the inverter. It'll back off the inverter and then it'll go to just off the solar. So it's kind of tapping a little bit off the charge batteries right now. But 2.1, putting 2 kilowatts into the other system. Right now, my do-it-yourself shit is putting out over 4,000 watts. Those panels aren't even put up at a favorable angle back there. And neither, these are just flat. So when I put up the other system, I'm going to angle them probably just a little bit. But yeah, so right now, uh, it's a little over half way through October and it's after 2 p.m. four kilowatts between my two systems right now so far and I got two panels that are gonna uh, throw up so it'll add like probably say you know 
400 watts more on this, so I'd be, I'd be able to put up 2.5 probably right now almost. Maybe a little less, depends on the angle. But yeah, see, so it's backing off because it's only, it's only seems to be tapping what it needs because it's not needing to charge the batteries. Yeah, so that's kick ass. Well, that's what I've got going on so far. It has been very busy the last couple of weeks, including I had to go out of town during some of this. So we'll see how it goes once I get these nine panels installed on my south side and the other two panels added to the original system. That, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And we'll catch you all later.